together, I can put everything together to be able to compute d theta dg, which is just this, which is just 1 over uh, d labor supply d theta minus d labor demand d theta. Right, so d labor supply d theta, we just call it this expression. So it's L over theta 1 minus theta u. And then I have to subtract the slope of the private labor demand with respect to tightness. So I have to subtract d l d theta, so I have minus minus, so it's going to be plus alpha 1 minus alpha theta tau. L minus G, this is just private employment divided by theta. Okay, oh, oh. it's slightly of kilter here. Okay, so here I have my expression for the change in, uh, in tightness when uh, we change G. And what we can see, of course, is that everything Uh, well, actually, very great. So, uh, well, actually, we can just let's simplify just a little bit, uh, which is not bad. Uh, we're going, okay, let's not. Uh, we're going to simplify it in a second. Uh, but for now, the key thing that we can notice is, of course, everything is positive in there. So the change in tightness created by a change in government spending is positive. So that's exactly in line with what we've, what we've seen in our labor market diagram that when we increase public employment, tightness goes up. So that all makes sense. Okay, um, but what I'm really after is not the change in tightness, I'm after the multiplier, which is equal to uh, the multiplier which I've called lambda, which is equal to DLDG, not the change in tightness, but the change in employment. Okay, but I know that at any point, uh, at any point in time, I know that my employment In equilibrium, employment is given by the labor supply at the equilibrium tightness. Okay? Employment, we know that it's the labor supply at the equilibrium tightness. I mean, one way to see it is you just look at the graph. That's our equilibrium graph. You can see employment, which is here is given by the labor supply here measured at um, equilibrium tightness. And once you have your equilibrium tightness, you call the labor supply and then you can figure out what is the level of employment, right? So what that means is that um, if I, because I know how tightness has changed and I also know the slope of the labor supply with respect to tightness. Well, I know my change in tightness, I know the slope of the labor supply with respect to tightness, and I can figure out how much employment has changed. Okay, so that's exactly how am I going to do it. So here I'm going to compute my multiplier. So multiplier is change in employment when I change public employment, and employment is given by the labor supply. So uh, the multiplier It's going to be, so it's DLDG, but then it's just D labor supply D theta times D theta DG. Right, if I use the chain rule using the fact that, as I highlighted here, the employment in equilibrium is just read off of the labor supply. Okay, so the multiplier is obtained by, by doing d labor supply d theta, d theta dg. Now d theta dg, I've got the expression, it's this, 
right? um, but it turns out that D, the slope of the labor supply, DL is theta, I also have the expression it's given here. Okay, so if I combine all these things, I get that the multiplier is DLS d theta, so it's this L over theta, 1 minus eta times u. This comes from this result that we have here in the box. L over theta minus eta over u. And then I have to multiply that by d theta dg and then that I guess I can also box it. It's this big thing here, and I can put that, so it's one over some big things that I'm going to put in my denominator here. So I'm going to have L over theta, 1 minus theta, u plus alpha over 1 minus alpha, eta tau l minus g over theta right great wonderful so that's a multiplayer now that's a bit of a complicated expression let's try to simplify it and in fact we can simplify it a whole lot by dividing numerator and denominator by uh, what's right now in the numerator so if i do that i eliminate the numerator so i, I divide the numerator by the numerator which allows me to get one and then I divide the denominator by the numerator. The first term, the term that was here, is going to just disappear because it's the same as what we have in the numerator, so I'll have another one. Great. And then we have to divide that second term uh, by what's in the numerator. So I have an eta, and I'm going to divide it by a 1 minus eta. I have tau, and I'm going to divide it by a u that comes there. And then I have L minus G divided by theta, and I divide that by L over theta. So two thetas disappear. I get L minus G divided by L, and that's just 1 minus G over L. Okay. Um, so this is very great. This is such a simple expression for the multiplier, um, where just in case we don't remember, so this is a shape alpha the shape of the production function eta here is the shape of the matching function tau over u tau is the number of recruiters u is the unemployment rate of course tau is recruiter producer ratio u unemployment rate so uh, and then 1 minus g over L, what is that? Well, g is the size of the public sector, L is total employment, so g over L is the share of workers who are in the uh, public sector, and so 1 minus g over L, what is that? This is just the share of workers in the private sector. Okay? Uh, this is just our share of workers in the private sector, very simple. Uh, and you know, if we want to simplify, let's call it, just to simplify with the notation, let's call this sigma. Okay. Uh, right, and so we have our multiplier, so let's, uh, let's summarize the multiplier lambda, which is defined as d dl dg is equal to 1 over 1 plus alpha 1 minus alpha eta 1 minus eta tau over u sigma Okay, well that's pretty tight, so you can get a close form expression for the multiplier just from knowing your production function, knowing your matching function, knowing you know the size of your of the public sector and knowing just the state of the economy, you know, tau, the so producer ratio, which of course 
we know is a function of theta, and u is the employment rate, which is also a function of theta. Yeah. Which here actually tells you that your multiplier will depend on theta. So for different states of the labor market, you're going to have different multipliers. Something we're going to uh, something we're going to talk about uh, in, in just a second. <coughs> 